Welcome back to Five Talk Street. I'm Christy Nelson. Pet owners surrender animals to shelters for many reasons, but some are relinquished because of behavior related issues. Five Talk Street's Scott Murray has more. Thanks so much, Christy. And as you mentioned, behavior can indeed be a big problem. However, many of those problems can usually be managed with education and veterinary expertise. Joining me right now, Eric Alsup. He is the county manager for Vito Kino USA and Mike Mocker also with Vito Kinal and Territory Manager for all of North Texas. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you, Scott. Great to have you here. Good to be here. Vito Kinal, where did that come from? What does well, that all mean? Vito Kinal is one of the top uh, veterinary pharmaceutical companies in the world, but we are based in France, so we do do a little bit of extra effort on the name in the United States. <laughs> and How long has it been around? We, it's, uh, Vito Kinal was founded by the family that still owns most of it more than 80 years ago. In the U.S., we've just been around since uh, 2001, located our U.S. headquarters over in Fort Worth, very close by. Why did you want to get to involved with the Clear the Shelters? Clear the Shelters fits us to a T. Uh, first of all, we're just a company uh, with a group of employees who feels their mission very, very personally. Every Friday, we have Bring Your Pet to Work Day, and 80-plus percent of those pets are rescue pets. And so it, it just fits us very well, trying to find homes for these animals. And for either one of you, how does it really help clear the shelters? How does that whole dynamic work? Ahead, Mike. Uh, well, again, it's, it's more about finding forever homes for those adoptions. So it's about making sure those adoptions stick. Um, so we want to raise the level of awareness for behavior with the pet owner itself on site. So we'll have adoption kits available that will have tips to look for uh, behavioral signs in your pet, um, advising pet owners to go see their veterinarian because those are their experts. Those are the ones that are going to be able to help and provide some direction to make sure that simple behavioral issues don't blossom into something that's, that's undesirable and then make sure that those pet and the, and the family have a very good, strong relationship and bond and that that animal stays forever. What are some of the signs, behavioral issues in pets? I think everybody out there, any pet owner says, oh, he does this, he does this, he can't do this, he can't do that. Right. Everybody thinks they know their pet like it's a next door neighbor. But how about it? What are some of the signs? Yeah, so for example, if during a thunderstorm, uh, the pet whines or he goes and hides under a couch or a chair, it's, that's not a cute behavior, that's, he's afraid. Uh, and that's how he's expressing it. And that's the type of thing that we want pet owners to be aware of. This way they can go to their vet um, and talk to them for, you know, a product like Zilkeen and some behavior modification to help relieve that pet's stress and anxiety so that the next time there's a thunderstorm, they can cope a little bit better. And Zilkeen, tell us a little something about that. What is that? So, yeah, Zilkeen's our product. It's been on the market in the U.S. for a little over two years and in Europe for about seven years. And they've had really good results um, with helping pets cope with changes in environment, um, new stressful factors, um, new, new pets coming into the house, new, new family members coming into the house. Um, so any of those changes can be dramatic and stressful on the pet. Something like Zilkeen and some behavior modification along with that can help ease that transition and, and make it more easy for the, the owner and the pet. Recommendations that might come from your, your family vet, what might they be? Are there some things that they might be able to do to help with, uh, with the dog or the cat or whoever it might be? A neat thing for me as a veterinarian myself graduated a, a few decades ago now. <laughs> we didn't talk about behavior in veterinary school then. It's really a blossoming area that affects health, affects every other aspect of the pet's life and the family's life. So it's neat, to, it's been wonderful to see that develop. The key aspects are there's no product, no pharmaceutical or other product that works alone. Veterinarian's gonna work on behavior modification, helping animals cope, making the environment as positive as possible. And then if a product like Zilkeen can help out with that, that'll be fit into the protocol. Now for all of our viewers who are pet owners, uh, I'm sure you have a website. Give us a little information where folks can get more information. Yeah, so they can go to www.behaviorisvital.com and there they'll be able to find tips and advice and, and even find a veterinarian that they can go see as soon as they have a new pet. Fantastic. Eric and Mike, I can't thank, thank you. you enough. Thank you. Great thank information. You. All the best. August 15th, that's the big date, right? That's it. All right, Thanks. sounds like a deal. For more information about pet behavior and Vito Kino, visit www.behavioralistall.com. For participating shelters, visit clearthesheltersorg Let's find forever homes for these deserving pets. In the meantime, we're right back with more of Five Talk Street.